Well, it was it's something that was actually, I, I'm guessing it was like destined, you know, for me to, to do what, you know, to do what it is that I do. Um, my grandmother bought me this keyboard when I was like four or five years old and she, I don't know, she, I mean, she just kind of pushed me to do, you know, to do what I was doing. I never went, you know, never went to school for it, never took lessons, never did anything. So it was just something that was, you know, that was just there. So I, it's just a God-given, you know, it's a God-given thing. Um, and as far as the producer thing, you know, when I was in high school, I used to always want to create, you know, I just wanted to hear my own music. You know, I never really wanted to listen to anything on the radio. So I'm like, well, how can I figure out how to, you know, like how to make my own stuff? So I like bought this reel-to-reel -reel recorder, you know, with the whole, you know, the things. And, and just started like dumping tracks back and forth. So I would record like drum beats with my hands and then bounce that and then do keyboards, and, you know, just do all kinds of stuff. So that's how I did, you know, that's how I became a producer. I didn't really start doing real production until 2000, 2001. Um, but that was like, you know, the origins of it. My first album. <laughs> Um, it feels great, you know, to work on my first album. Um, in the beginning, it, it really didn't because this, this wasn't something that I planned to do. I just kind of, I don't know, God just gave me this vision and, and it was nothing that I could do to stop it as much as I wanted to. I never really wanted to be an artist and put my name out there like that. So I just wanted to kind of be like, you know, what, what you would, um, I don't know, you know, like, like a Quincy Jones, that kind of that kind of thing where he's just kind of in the background and producing for other people. That's really what I wanted to do. But the only way that I could get my own voice out there was to do my own production. And I figured that out, you know, while I was working on the record. So, you know, the, it, it feels good to do the record. It's, it's, it's been a rough, you know, it's been a rough journey at times, but, you know, but I'm, I'm nearing, you know, nearing the end of it and it, it's feeling, yeah, it's feeling good. Um, it, it is a, a culmination of like, you know, a lot of stuff because, you know, I'm, I'm a, I think I'm a jazz musician at heart. That's, that's the music that I really love, but I play R&B, I play funk, I play pop, you know, rock music, um, Brazilian, Latin, Afro-Cuban. So the record really is a culmination of like all of the musical styles. I, I really just love to do all of that. So. Um, you know, my inspiration comes from all of the different music and then also comes from just, you know, just life experience. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, that's where it comes from. It's just life. You know, just, yeah, it's, it's my life in an album. There's a lot of special guests on this record. Um, you know, a, a lot of them are, you know, friends that I made, you know, and, you know, over the years in the industry, I got Robert Glasper is on the album. Um, I got Frank McComb on the album. I got Bill Summers from Summers Heat, you know, who played with Herbie Hancock. He's on the record. I got Don Blackman on the record. Um, amazing, amazing musician who passed away um, a few months ago. And, oh man, there's so many people. Nadia Washington, uh, who just graduated from Berkeley. She's really young. Um, I don't know, Nadia's probably 22, 23 amazing vocalist um, who's doing a song, um, actually a Divine Lean's tune, um, you know, that's close to my heart. So she's on the record. It's, I mean, it's just so many people. Nicholas Payton is on the record playing trumpet and Duele is on the record. It's, it's a lot of people. So, you know, it's, it's way more than that. You have to go to the website and like check it out and see, you know, the full guest list. But yeah, it's a lot of people. You know, I can't forget, you know, my Detroit family. It's a lot of people from Detroit on the record too. What I really want people to know is that the record is really coming from, it's really coming from my heart. Uh, when you listen, you know, when I listen to my album, I hear love and I hear life and, you know, in the record. So it's just a real honest record. It's, it's really coming from the heart. So that's really all I want people to know. Um, I really don't want people to go in with any preconceived, you know, like a preconceived whatever, you know, thoughts about what the record is or what it's supposed to be, because it's not an R&B album, it's not a jazz album, it's not, you know, I, w I would really call it, if I had to categorize it, you know, just a soul record, because it comes from, it comes from my soul. But it's, it's, a, it's a good album, yeah, it's good. 
it just kind of hit me one day because this was the first thing that I've ever been able to really, really complete on my own. You know, I mean, well, of course I got tons of people, you know, helping, but, but this is the first thing that I've done where like, this is it. So, um, you know, a lot of people don't, you know, I mean, no, well, no, you got no morality and that kind of stuff. And 12 is a number of completion. So when you think about, you know, the number of, um, you know, the number of inches in a foot, you got 12, the number of months in the year, you got 12. So it's always a number of completion. If you look through the Bible, it's the same thing. You always see, you know, the number 12 It's you know, it just keeps popping up. You know, how many disciples did Jesus has? You know, it was 12. So, um, and then, and then on a musical scale, you know, from C until you get to the next C is 12, you know, 12 notes or 12 semitones. So, that's what that's where 12 came from and the original concept of the record was to be you know a song in every key you know on the on the scale it, it didn't quite work out like that you know a couple songs ended up being in the same key but i just had to go with what you know whatever the inspiration was at the time oh man what's next for me well after this record um i'm almost done recording that so after that i really want to i really want to tour the album I want people all over the world to be able to get the live experience, you know, from me. And I just want to be able to share, you know, to share myself, you know, to share myself with the world. You know, I've, I've been in Detroit a long time doing it. You know, it's a lot of people here who love me, who love my music, love what I do. But it would be great to experience different cultures, you know, different foods, just different, you know, just different people. It, it would be great to do that. So that's kind of what's next. You know, I'm, I'm expecting a little work to come in after this, too. You know, so I'm looking forward to, you know, to working with different people, doing production for a lot of folks. So, yeah. Um, I'm looking to release 12 in the spring of 2014. Uh, everything will be done and recorded by then. So, yeah, so it'll, it'll be spring of 2014. But I do have a single that's coming out. Um, the single is coming out real soon. I'm looking at late. Uh, late summer, early fall, and uh, the single is called Stronger. It's featuring Gene Baylor, and um, it's actually produced by me and then um, the production team called The Baylors. It's Marcus Baylor and Gene Baylor. And a lot of people know Gene Baylor. She was one half of the group, uh, Jeanne, from back in the 90s. You know, it's groove thing and all of that. Um, yeah, Jeanne was killing. But she sang her behind off on this song. It's a really, really good song about, you know, it's, it's really about relationships and about how if you work, you know, you really have to put in work in relationships to, to make the relationship stronger. So that's, that's what the single is about. So definitely look for the single. Yo, my name is Brandon Williams, musician, producer out of Detroit. Check out my website, www.bwilliamsmusic.com. My Facebook page is B Williams Music and my Twitter. Uh, B. Williams Music underscore. Definitely check me out. Thank you for watching. Peace.